Hello lovelies, good morning. Welcome to our Flying Goat Farms trunk show. Look how beautiful it is. Oh my goodness, all the amazing colors, the soft fibers, so much to dive into. Flying Goat Farms is owned by Lisa Check, who lives and dies at her lovely farm out in Frederick, Maryland, which is about 45 minutes west of our shop. Uh, Lisa's brought a few different yarn bases to have at our shop this month, and also she's brought in some gorgeous spinning fiber. Um, let's do things a little differently this time. We're gonna start with the thick stuff. We'll start over here. So this here is Synergy, which is a two ply, 100% merino, not super wash. Uh, I did ask if it was a farm yarn and she said yes. So, and these beautiful marled yarns do have like, it's a random marl, so you get like a gradient effect or sort of like a wave color changing effect. Uh, there's a bunch of different colorways. We have them all listed on the Trunk Show website, lovelyarns.com forward slash flying goat. There's also a few one of a kinders. Here are some of them. Da, 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 da. So we'll look at these. So this is sort of like olive with blue. This is like a pink and blue. And then we have um, like a green and purple. And then we have like this one that's like super green. This is some of the same green from this hank, but it's super smushy. These Synergy colors are a worsted weight yarn, $27 a hank, and you get approximately, let's see how many yards. You get about 200 yards per hank on these worsteds. And let's see here, just to be sure. Okay, on the two ply 100% Maria, you get 232 yards of worsted weight wool. This here is the lapis color. So, and the lapis of course is different, like bright dark blues, well, bright blue to dark blue. Gorgeous. We have six of those. And then of course these lovely one of a kinders here. And then this colorway is malachite, slightly greener blue. And then next to Malak, you can see the difference between the Malachite and the Moody Blues, which is a little bit lighter. And then going up, this is another, this is a one of a kind of which there are five Hanks that look pretty much the same. Uh, and this is sort of like um, some of the Ruby Red, some of the Ruby Red applied with a really pretty uh, berry color. So I think we have it in their system as light ruby pink purple <laughs> but it is one of a kind and then we have a couple more one of a kinders which are purple let me pull them all off so you can see them together so we have two which are very similar these are the one of a kind berry splash or sorry berry kissed there we go berry kissed so one is a little bit darker than the other but they are very similar and then this of course is like a dark violet or dark plum. I think we have it in as dark violet. And then of course this one is more red violet. Look at those pretty plots, very smushy. So if you've been making or been looking at any patterns um, that have shift in the name or that use a uh, spin cycle yarns, this is a really great yarn to use because also it's from one of our Maryland dyers, much less expensive and you're, you know, helping the little guy or the little gal, as the case may be. And then this is raspberry, just delicious. Just delicious, look at that. I love getting so close up on these because you can, I know you can't feel it because you're on YouTube, but you certainly can see how smushy and nice this is. Uh, um, Non-superwash merino, which has not been chemically processed like it's superwash cousins, uh, is like very springy, soft. Um, it's supple, you get nice fat stitches. It feels lovely in your hand. Uh, it will felt. This is Majesty, which is mostly purple. There's a Majesty, which is, whoops. <laughs> I got the pegs really full. This one is slightly lighter on the outside, but some of those darker purples are on the inside. It just depends how it was spun and plied. And that is the beauty of having random 
morals that give you these gorgeous color changes. If you are using these two skeins in the same project, you might want to alternate rows so you don't get a weird stripe. Uh, this gray is a sport weight and so is this Caribbean color. The gray is called Jasper and it's not quite 100 grams and you do get approximately 200 yards and it's only 20 bucks a hank and then the Caribbean below it is a sport weight that is 100 yards or 100 grams sorry and you get 350 yards and this is 30 because you get quite a quite a bit of yardage here uh the Caribbean goes from like a lime green to a bright uh aquamarine blue and then above the jasper we have mushroom this is a really really beautiful color it's just like these real subtle like taupes and beiges and sands and then next to and sort of like these olivey greens so love that and then next to jasper we have cream sort of like a buttery creamy colorway and then we have sunset which is uh like a softer orange it's got a little bit of these pops of dark red orange in it uh, i have a few of sunset but i have only one harvest which is this darker orange and look at this awesome ochre that it's plied with like how gorgeous is that loving that and then of course the bright red ruby and that is the synergy <clears throat> Next to Synergy, we have this incredible DK weight yarn that Lisa calls Alto DK. It is a blue face luster and silk blend. The silk is Bombex silk, and you do get a high silk content in this. So the Alto is 55% blue face luster, 45% silk, and it is a super wash BFL, and it is lovely. Look at that shine shines like only silk really can and it's just delightful uh, so down here at the bottom the white this one is missing a label so this is oyster and it's just a like gorgeous creamy white like the inside of an oyster shell on each of these skeins of alto dk you get what do we get here da -da -da, it's a hand wash we're getting 260 yards for every four ounce skein. So these are 113 grams. And then, and these we have, so we have Oyster. We have this one, which is Midnight Splash. Midnight Splash is the Oyster colorway with little splashes of like a really deep charcoal. And then the silvery gray is Lightning. We have lightning on a few bases today. So we've got lightning here. We have it on her Chinook, which is an MCN, Merino Cashmere Nylon. Also there's lightning on her Sparkly Sock. Uh, and do we have, we do not have lightning on the Zephyrad, which is the soft stuff. But yeah, so you can see how the dye sort of takes, there's a little bit of tonality going on. Uh, similar color, but has a slightly different look. The silk really does make it shine. Um, and then we have granite which is not as solid as the Tahitian Pearl, which is mostly black. And then she's got one called Pearl Texture, which is, it looks like a little brownish, a little more brown, a little more cobblestone-y, that makes sense. So I've got one Tahitian Pearl in the Alto. I have quite a few of the Pearl Texture, and I have a few of these Granites, which is like a medium gray. And then moving up, we have, this beautiful oyster with a little bit of a navy blue speckle splash effect. And this one is navel splash. The Alto, as you see, is $32 a skein. And then next to the navel splash, we have nautical. Oh, actually, sorry, no, this is slate. <laughs> slate is similar to nautical, which is this over here. Very similar. So this one is slate like a really pretty um splashy navy and then next to slate we have bluebird and then next to bluebird we have this gorgeous sky blue this is called clear skies see it's a bit of a brighter blue than the bluebird and then make a nice blue gradient and then above these we have of course navajo turquoise one of her most popular colorways um spruce which is a really lovely blue green it's a little the spruce is a little bit greener in person than it is showing up on the video. 
Uh, it pairs really nicely with the toffee next to it here and this gorgeous brick red. And that's all the Alto. So moving on next to Alto, we have Chinook. Chinook is Merino Cashmere Nylon, 80% Superwash Merino, 10% Cashmere, 10% Nylon, 100% delicious. Um, you know, like not that you would literally eat it, but it's just, it's so soft and smishy. It's just lovely. Uh, this, because it does have the nylon in to give it some strength, the, the Chinook makes great socks. One skein will do an entire pair of socks. It is a fingering weight. We've got like a full rainbow, starting with a variegated multi called Fiesta. And then we have a more tonal corally orange called Coral. And then this is one of my fave ones that she's brought this time. This is Smoked Salmon, which I think is like a newer colorway. I don't recall her having this before. And I love this. I love the coral with the little bits of gray. Beautiful. And then next to the Smoked Salmon, we have this beauty with this Cobalt Violet that bleeds into this fiery orange. And this one is called Emergence. So pretty. And then next to Emergence, we have um, some more a cobalt blue, a little bit of turquoise, and then this bright sunny gold color. And this is her Rhinebeck colorway. It's called Hudson River Valley. We do have this here on Chinook. Uh, we also have it on the Sparkly. Look how lovely it is. We have quite a few sparkles. We've got, I think, five of the Hudson River Valley colorway on the Chinook. Um, each skein of Chinook has, is four ounces and you get, how many yards are we getting? This is of course the Navajo turquoise colorway. Oh gosh, where's the one that has the yards? Why can't I find this? Haha, -ha, here we go. It's covered by this 414 yards, covered by the sticker, but it's just lovely. Look how soft that is. It has a nice halo even now. Look, you can see how soft it is. Um, <clears throat> we've been singing our speech a lot lately. One of our friends, Sam Kay, uh, sings with Baltimore Choral Arts Society. And I think her habit of singing what she says is wearing off on me, but in a good way. <laughs> uh, and then next to the Navajo Turquoise, which pairs really nicely with this Hudson River Valley. Look how pretty that is. Hello, Color Work Project. Um, <clears throat> this would be like a really nice pairing to do some mosaic knitting or mosaic crochet. Beautiful. Uh, and then we have Land and Sea. The Land and Sea has some of this gorgeous turquoise, some navy, and also a bit of green, which is coming out as blue on the video. But in real life, it is more, em it, this is more like emerald color. I know it's hard, like our lighting inside is bizarre. So, but this is more like emerald color. Uh, and then next to Land and Sea, I've got one skein of Glacier, which is violet and like deep saturated turquoise and cobalt. And then we also have Glacier Splash, which is the same colorway, but it's a much splashier dye effect. And then we have got one skein left of Splashy Hydrangea, which is some aqua cobalt. And look at that, a little bit of pink, a little bit of pale pinky purple. Look how pretty that is. And then of course we've got this one. This skein here is mostly blue with a little burst of violet. And this one's called Bluebird Float because the majority of the skein is this bluebird color. And then you've got a bit of this violet in makes the float. So what you do with these float things, um, with these float things, cause also we have violet float, which is the same, but different. So it's sort of reversed. So this here has the float of bluebird and is mostly violet. And this is mostly bluebird and has a violet floaty bit. So you can do like assigned pooling projects with these. There's a few of them on Ravelry. Uh, Wonderland yarns, which we also have, has a color burst yarn, which has a similar dye effect. But these are even more awesome because Lisa lives close to us. So like makes it even better. Oh, and I should say the Chinook is $32 a hank. And then this colorway I've been really into. This one's called Chico. And I don't know what it is about this color combo she's got in this variegated skein. We have three of them, but I love it. 
I love this yellow next to this cowboy brown and then this deep blue. This is purple. Like, I don't know. I'm just really into this color. It just feels like a really sophisticated color pairing. I think it would be awesome. Like, make a killer pair of socks, but also maybe uh, you could pair this with another. Maybe, ooh, you know, I like it. This is um, Grape Crush is this colorway. You know that there's a hat by Isolde Teague that's been really popular, her Musselburg hat. And this would be a really awesome pairing to make a Musselburg hat. So the Musselburg hat is just like a plain stockinette beanie, but you start with the crown of one, you knit your skein, connect your second skein, and then finish out with the crown of the second half of the hat, and then you push it in. So it's like you get a, rever a fully reversible to, um, hat with a flip up brim. And I think they look really incredible when you have two very different colorways. Like the higher the contrast, sort of like the better it looks. If you go on Rav, you can check it out. And then down below we have Basalt, which is a dark, dark gray. And Basalt, we also have in the sparkle, which is up here. Looks a little dark, darker on the sparkle base than it does on the MCN. And I guess like the cashmere sort of like lightens it a little bit. Maybe it's the silk lightens it a little bit. Oh, that's really pretty. And then we also have, oh no, that's Tahitian pearl. So this is the Tahitian pearl on the Zephyrette. So, and then, so we have basalt. And then next to basalt is Stormy, which is like a splash dye of the oyster with this gorgeous gray. And then of course, lightning that we talked about earlier. And then there's this one that I really am enjoying. Look at this. So it's like a pearly gray base, like the lightning base. And then it's got this really pretty subtle speckle of like a bunch of different, like it's like yellow, red, brown speckle that's in there. And I just love this. I think it's such a pretty color. This would make a great sweater really great sweater and this one's called driftwood and then similarly toned but differently dyed this one's called barnwood and i'm into this too like that's just really nice this also would make a great looking sweater and yes you can absolutely use the two of them in the same project because look how nicely they are together uh, you could do like a real subtle graded sweater if you want, like a faded sweater. And then this pale uh, beige tan is rosewood. It's really nice. And then, of course, this is another one that I really like. The last two are we have falling leaves and Cabernet Harvest. The Cabernet Harvest is, of course, like this gorgeous Cabernet color with this vine green. And then the falling leaves is this pretty woody brown with, of course, uh, this darker leafy green and this sunny yellow. So sort of like sunlight through the trees when you're walking in the woods. Fabulous. It just looks like a nice clear fall day. Really nice. So that's the end of the Chinook. Now on to the sparkles. Sparkles. You know, who doesn't love a good sparkle? And I will say this sparkle is soft. It's not like, um, you know, some sparkle yarns, you can feel the Lorax or like the sparkling metallic agent in the wool while you're knitting or crocheting, but this one you don't. Also, because of how this is plied, you can use this for socks. Some sparkle yarns you cannot, but this one can be made into socks. And this is Super Wash Merino and Lurex. You get 400 yards per 100 gram hank. She says they're four ounces, so I guess it's 113 grams is what they are. And it's lovely. And it just feels really good. It's very nice and soft. So this, of course, is lightning. Next to lightning is this really pretty navy and gold that she's calling indigo gold, like indigo and gold put together. And then next to the indigo gold is the nautical colorway that we spoke of earlier. And again, these are all on our website, lovelyarns.com forward slash flying goat. The pretty purple is here is lavender. And then we've got two colorways with similar names, similar colors, yet different. This one here is Rocky Mountains. 
So see the gray is more of a splash effect. And then next to it, with more solid stripe and a deeper violet is Purple Mountains. Now the Purple Mountains has less of the splash and is more clearly variegated. And that is the difference. And I think I've got two hanks of each in stock. And then the really purple purple, this one's called Spacey. Like outer space. And then above this, we have this gorgeous blue marina, which is a really nice medium blue tonal. And then of course, uh, we've got one skein of hummingbird, which is similar yet different from the Hudson River Valley colorway. Uh, this one, there's like less orange, like you can see, like it's less orange, less green. The blue is more saturated, but I mean, it's similar, similar in tone, but different colorway. And then of course the Hudson River Valley colorway here. So that's one, two, three. So that's these guys here, there's a bunch of them. And then this one, we've got another two which are similar. We have, move these synergies out of the way. Okay, so we've got, this one here is Land and Sea. And the Land and Sea has like a brighter green and it's got like this navy, like this really dark navy. So see on here, the land and sea, on this skein, you can see that it is like that bright emerald green where um, like the camera wasn't picking it up as much on the Chinook. So these two, these are this, this is the same colorway. Maybe over here in the light. Nope, that green still looks different. It looks way greener on the sparkle. Isn't that interesting? Okay, and then similar to this is Forest Pond and Forest Pond, the green's a little murkier. See, it's got a little more olive in, it's got more yellow in, to sort of make it less of a Kelly green. And therein lies the difference. Also, it doesn't have quite as much of this navy. It's got a little bit, but not so much. And it does have more of the turquoise and a little touch of yellow. So it is similar yet different, but certainly you could use them together in the same project. You might want to stripe them in or like fade them into one another, uh, but they're just gorgeous. Love it. And then next to this, of course, more of the Navajo turquoise that we love so much on everything. And above that, we have granite again. And then we have basalt that we talked about already. Um, this real pretty teal is called Antique Blue, which pairs nicely with the color next to it, which is called Cherries. Isn't that interesting? So this blue is a little bit bluer than this, which has a little more green in but they do look nicely together and it does make a nice contrast against this. Uh, if you were thinking about like a brio like a sparkle brioche though, this might be a little too close for brioche. It would look nice. I would go with this black because look at that. You get like a real nice punch. Uh, you know, it's always fun to play with the colors, do color pairings, all that kind of stuff. And then of course we have a brighter pink uh, this one is Rose Bloom. Oh yeah, so yeah, here we go. Sparkle, so 400 yards, you get like a whole pair of socks and the Sparkle yarn is $28 a hank. So this is Cherries, Rose Bloom, and then this Rainbow Speckly one. So these are the same. This is Birthday Cake. So see, it looks like got this creamy white base and all these funny rainbow pastel speckles. Love it. How fun is that? This also be like a really cute top. Because of the speckle dye effect, you get like an all over impression of color. And then of course we have this real pretty apricot color, which is looking very yellow on my screen, but in real life it has got a little more, it's a little more apricot-y. It's got a touch more orange in it. And then last but not least, let me pull these two bright babies down. This one with the hot pink that I know you're drooling over. It's got like hot pink, hot orange, a little bit of this gray and silver. This one is called Silver Lining. Look how pretty and look how nice it plays with happiness. Happiness is sort of like a bright neon rainbow color and we love it. So it's like burning out the screen. <laughs> so we can get close up and you can see it's like that turquoise with hot pink, hot orange. It's got some bright yellow, limey green. It's like everything. And then this is a bright up on the, or a close up on the silver lining colorway. Love these. 
So, and that's all the sparkle. And then moving on, now we have Zephyret. Zephyret has been uh, one of her signature bases for as long as I've known her, just a few years now. Um, the Zephyret is just lovely. It is divine. It's what we call a luxury yarn. It just feels so soft like kittens. This is the Navajo Turquoise colorway. Uh, the Zephyret comes in 50 gram hanks. It is like a light sport, heavy fingering weight yarn and you get 225 yards per skein and it's 70% alpaca, 20% silk, 10% cashmere and it's just gorgeous. Like crazy soft. It's a two ply, light and lofty and it gets a beautiful halo. Just beautiful halo. Uh, starting at the bottom, we have Oyster that we've seen before. Uh, we have the Silver Granite, so it's like darker than silver lining, but lighter than the Tahitian Pearl. I feel like the basalt is a little lighter than the Tahitian Pearl. It's not quite as solid. Tahitian Pearl is her black. And then next to Tahitian Pearl, we have Cabernet, which is this gorgeous plummy wine color. And then we have Lilacs pale purple. We have Cabernet Harvest, which is a combo of like this deep plum, like deep dark brown plum and this mossy green. And this is a variegated. And then we have moss or I think it's just, yeah, mossy. So here we go. Mossy. And then we have emerald, which looks bluish on the screen but it's definitely more of like an emerald green see it's the same as the green here so it is definitely an emerald it just looks a little bluer on our screen than it is in real life it's a little greener in real life it's like closer to the green here i don't know why it shows up differently on that i guess it's the fiber content and then above this we have teal and this this is looking almost exactly the same <laughs> it's a little more saturated uh, and then next to teal is Jewel Tones, which is a teal cobalt violet variegated yarn. And then we have more slate. And then on this hook, I've got one skein of blue bird left. And then behind it, there's a couple of clear skies. See the difference? So the blue bird's a little darker. Clear skies is a little brighter. It's subtle, but it is different. And then I have a couple of peacock, which is a little lighter still. And then the robin's egg, which is an even lighter blue. And then we have glacier, which is uh, shades of aqua, cobalt, and gray. It doesn't have the same purple as the glacier that's over there, but it's, it's similar. It's really soft. It's crazy soft, crazy, crazy soft. Of course, then we have the Navajo turquoise. We have this pale, pale, icy green blue. Ooh, some fuzz. Pale, pale, icy green, blue. This one is called Jade. And then behind it, I've got one skein of Navajo turquoise that is considerably lighter than the rest. So I made it a separate entry online because the color is different. And then above this, we have two shades of yellow. We've got, which are very similar. <laughs> Probably you could use them on the same thing and no one would notice unless you really scrutinize. Um, but the Aztec gold here is a little, is slightly more orange and a little bit darker than the lemon drop next to it, which is this. So it's hard to tell on the video. Uh, it's, the difference is a little more obvious in real life, but it is hard to tell on video. And then this pretty pretty, this one is called Rosette. And I love this, it's so nice. Look how pretty that creamy pink is next to the creamy sunny yellow, it's really lovely. And then this, of course, is Rose Bloom. And next to the Rose Bloom, this one is pink with an exclamation point, pink. And next to it, the pale pink is blush. And then here's our smoked salmon colorway, which I really love on the Zephyret. Looks a little different than it does on the Chinook, but I love this. Look how cool that is. I mean, like it's definitely the same colorway, but it looks different. I love that. I think that's such a cool color. Okay, and then this one, which is sort of like corally orange and pink, is Sherbet. And then lastly, this 
pretty orange baby is creamsicle. And that is all the Zephyrette. And the Zephyrette is $30 a skein and it's 50 grams of just pure bliss. It's like knitting and crochet bliss. Also, you can weave with it. It makes a really good weft, not a great warp because um, I would be afraid to like tension it. Um, I wouldn't want it to snap. Also, the alpaca can be um, a little fuzzy, so it might be hard to beat your weaving. And then, of course, we've got all kinds of very pretty, pretty spinning fibers. We'll start at the bottom. Um, this here is a selection of alpaca mohair blend, 30% alpaca, 70% mohair. We're keeping it in the plastic because um, the fiber is a little delicate and we wouldn't want it to fall apart and get funky before you have a chance to spin with it. It will felt for all of you felters out there. So you, if you are a needle felter or a Nuno felter, this will totally work for you. In fact, all of the fibers that Lisa has brought today will felt. Uh, we have blue face luster. We have also a Polworth silk blend. Uh, each unit of fiber is four ounces. So it's approximately the same weight as a skein of yarn. And it's just it's lovely. Like, I don't know if any of you have spun with Lisa's fiber before, but it's prepared beautifully. It's easy to draft. The colors are incredible. It all feels really good in your hands. Uh, it's just, it's really nice to work with. And of course the dye work is awesome. Uh, so the alpaca mohair, it, we did say it's a 3070. It's $20 a bag for, a, for four ounces. And these are in like tonal semi-solids. So we have like a Navajo turquoise. We have like a bright cobalt blue. And then we have an emerald green. It's really, really emerald. <laughs> and then we have like this really dark plum, which is like that Cabernet color. So it's hard to tell because of the plastic, but this dark plum is like, the, it's this, it's this color. So this is, this fiber is this color. And the green, the emerald fiber is this color. And then this cobalt is just crazy blue. Like you can tell like that's an insanely saturated blue. And this is like the Navajo turquoise color that we have everywhere. And then this is like fuchsia. This is amazing. Look how pretty that is. It just, it fluoresces through the bag. Uh, it's just like this hot pinky purple stuff. It just, it looks like fairy magic. It just looks like fairy magic. That's what it is. And then behind it is a real pretty lavender. So sort of like a tonal lavender. And then we've got two bags of this gorgeous red. It's like a nice bright poppy red. It's not like fire endearment. It's more like a, more like a poppy red or like a red tulip. No, no, like a poppy red, I suppose. Um, it's not quite as red as like a tulip red. It's really beautiful. Uh, and then moving on. So this color, this is like a Luna Moth color, but I think we were calling it sort of, um, it's like an olive and jade. And this is the Polworth silk. And the Polworth silk is 80% Polworth, which is wool. Polworth sheep look similar to Merino sheep. They look like they've been attacked by cotton balls. It's really funny. You should go look them up. Um, and silk. And of course, four ounces. The Polworth silk braids are each $24. So we have this gorgeous olive jade colorway. It does look very Luna Mothy. And then we have this one sort of like an indigoldy because it's got the the blue violet and this gorgeous gold color. And look, the silk just really makes this nice shine. Um, this is very, very soft, by the way. Like I'm, I'm petting it. <laughs> you could just get it to pet it. It's the cat you never have to feed. Um, and then um, with really pretty icy, icy blue. Uh, I thought this was similar to her jade colorway up here. Well, actually it's sort of like a pale Navajo turquoise, but it's really nice. So like pale icy blue. And then we have um, like this underwater, this underwater color. So it's like an underwater aqua, aqua and green. So it's sort of like you mix turquoise with the spring green together is what this colorway is like. And there are two of these. And then there's one of this like antique blue, which is sort of like a teal, but the silk just gives it like this really beautiful modeled tonality to it. And it's got a little bit of this cream coming through. 
I bet spun up. This is really amazing. Look how nice. Like you can just see the silk. Look how fluffy it is. Look how soft that is. And then um, we have some cobalt where also you can see the white silk in there. Just lovely. Lovely, lovely. Like bunnies, like air. Oof, beautiful. So, and the braids are, are, the fiber is kept in these braids so it stays nice and doesn't get gross. Uh, or like fuzzes out and is terrible. Just keeps it nicely together. And then when you spin, you can just pull the braids apart. And if you want to separate colors out, um, like this BFL that has um, these shades of violet with the acid green that goes up to the hot pink, uh, you could pull those colors apart if you wanted and spin them individually. Like you can totally do that. I know fractal spinning has been a thing. That's like where you separate colors and you spin them all separately. Um, and then this is this sherbet color. This is like the sherbet zephyret. See, it's like that orange and pink, lovely. And then there's also this deep burgundy color. So like a nice wine color. And then like a lighter mauve tone. So and that is all the Polworth silk, I believe. Yeah, cause we've got one, two, three. There are 10 total. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 of these. And then in the blue face luster, we have like this real pretty honey tone and it's just gorgeous, just shades of this golden honey color. This is a bit of a fuzz, uh, but it's nice. BFL is a little grippy. It's great for new spinners. These of course are four ounce Hanks, 100% blue face luster. These are the sheep that have really cute Roman noses. The blue face luster Hanks are $20 each. Crazy good deal. Um, also, we have it in pink and we have it in red, this delicious red. It's really like a lighter poppy. And then the insane bright hot pink, acid green and violet combo. We've got four of these, which is awesome. So four of those, I mean, like you could make like a shirt at four of those for sure. Cause you spin those up, that's like a pound. So it's like four hanks. So if you spun it fine, like a fingering weight, you could definitely make yourself some kind of top, which is cool. And then down here, I have sort of like this aqua underwater color also in the BFL. And then there's this awesome, like amazing spring green. These greens are really, just really stunning. Good job, Lisa, loving the greens. And folks, that is all. And this has been sort of like a long, virtual tour, but we had so much to look at and discuss. We had to go over all of it. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed looking at all the colorways, the textures with me this morning. Um, don't forget to hit like, comment, subscribe, and shop the show through March. Uh, it is lovelyyarns.com forward slash flying goat. Show comes down at the end of the month. Thank you all so much. Happy stitching!